Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Miss Angel Baby, and I am back with another video. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So anytime I drop a video, you will be notified. First things first, anything in this video is basically either a ledge, my thoughts, opinion, and or perception. So we're just gonna be getting started. Baddies East Reunion Part 3 Recap. Now we know it all starts off with Smiley trying to get that chain from Mariah Lynn. She ain't got it, so they go at it. Let me just tell y'all right now, that was so unfair. Mariah Lynn, she ain't no good. She basically went after Smiley. Smiley has one arm. She's handicapped right now. So that wasn't even fair. But you know, Smiley, she held her own. She's got to be real crazy. I mean, the girl's trying to fight and holler and cry at the same time. Because she's in pain and her arm is broke. Mariah Lynn, you know, she's a little delusional. She seems to think that Smiley actually hurt her arm on purpose so that way she wouldn't have to stand up to Mariah Lynn. You know, Mariah Lynn somehow thinks that Smiley's afraid of her. No, Smiley ain't afraid of her. Smiley afraid of Suki and Sapphire. Why? I don't know. Now, the girls, they never seem to disappoint. They had their wigs hanging off, their lashes hanging off, even Nene was into it. At one point, she's like, these girls need some boxing gloves. Now, let's get on E.T. When E.T. came back on that stage, y'all, she was tired looking. But Sapphire, she jumped up just to get her little moment, okay? Because she didn't even fight E.T. at the time when it actually mattered. You know, when her best friend was basically getting double teamed by Roly and E.T.? She did nothing. But now she gets to the reunion and then she wants to square up. Let me tell you, Sapphire is a follower and a lapdog to Suki, in my opinion. So Sapphire wants to get up and she's hollering at E.T. Take the rings off, take the rings off. Girl, there ain't no rules in fighting. I am so happy that E.T. busted Sapphire right upside her head and kicked Sapphire's ass. And then here comes Suki talking about, we ain't done. She need to take the rings off. She tried to hype her homegirl up. Suki gonna tell Sapphire, they ain't gonna air it. But she dropped her. Stop lying. Sapphire got that ass whooped. Now, Janisha and Nini tried to get down to the actual reason E.T. attacked Natalie. In my opinion, E.T., she don't have no valid reason. I feel like E.T. got upset because she felt like she wasn't coming back for another season of Baddies. And she felt that way because she wasn't getting an answer fast enough. When she kept asking, was she coming back? I mean, she was so desperate. Roly said she just kept asking her. And at one point, Roly was asking for her. And they said they had to think about it. They had to talk about it. But I guess they wasn't moving fast enough for E.T. But I hope that E.T. realizes now, well, I'm pretty sure she does realize now, that her attacking Natalie was not in her best interest at all. There was a possibility that she could have came back. Because according to Natalie, she actually kind of liked E.T. But hey, you live and you learn, right? Now, I'm not going to lie. The fighting is very entertaining. But I just wanted to hear them talk a little bit. Just a little bit. So I was very excited when E.T. explained what made her snap. According to E.T., if you want her to throw hands your way, all you got to do is just look at her funny. Look at her in a way that she doesn't like. And that is enough to make her fight you. Nini thought that was pretty crazy, which it is. That's like something from elementary school. And the more that E.T. did speak, that's when I just realized 
I feel like these girls probably should have just let a lot of this stuff go with E.T. Because it seems like she does have the mentality of a child. And you know, Roly did say that a lot of her fans are children. And allegedly she does have this group chat with a lot of young children in there. And she's, you know, interacting with them. Like, they're all the same age. So, you know, that right there is not normal behavior coming from a woman. A grown woman, that is, with two children of her own. But all in all, I guess it's official. The perception that I got was that when it came down to Biggie and this whole brother situation and her saying that, you know, she had her brother come out and put hands on her was not true. E.T. made a joke about it and Biggie basically confronted her and told her she was lying and she just laughed. And in my opinion, that's not cool of E.T. because there's women that are out here that are really getting the hell beat out of them by some men. E.T., she did admit that she got some screws loose and I'm telling you, this girl, she do because she wanted to make sure that everybody was good on their fades. So Mariah Lynn hopped up and it was so funny et just basically slid her out of the way and at that point that's when they did try to jump her so now there's round two with sapphire now sapphire she got binked up once again now i ain't gonna lie to Siki, she did beat up et but et she held her own now y'all when it came to et and biggie squaring up i hollered Biggie lost her balance once again. Biggie cannot stand up and fight straight to save her life. But Biggie, she just needed to let that whole thing go. Because Biggie, she's afraid of E.T. I don't care what nobody says. She said it like a thousand times to try to convince herself. But all in all, she just needed to sit on down somewhere and just enjoy being MVB of the season now that was a wrap on the season officially i feel like part three of the reunion really wasn't that good but part two in my opinion part two was like the best out of all reunions so next up we have the baddies caribbean that's going to be coming out and so we have to do the auditions we always know the auditions is the best part to go ahead and end this video i really want to know your thought and opinion on the whole season of baddies who is your favorite and who is your least favorite and best of all who do you guys think really stood on business thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe till next time bye guys go, 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 yeah.